ya. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sazal for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous... Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Goodbye. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics than warfare. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out 
It's because of the quality of the stone blocks, or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly, there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell, and killed someone. But the quarry master swears by all the saints it isn't possible. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. He's reliable and an experienced quarry man. Profiteering? What's the monastery trying to accomplish? To lower the price. What else? We've already given them a fair price, and they still delay with payment. Or worse. Worse? You mean they'll stop paying completely? You could put it that way. They're looking for an excuse to back out of the contract and find another quarry where they'll be able to secure a more favorable deal. And is anyone dealing with the problem? Well, my chamberlain is in charge of it, as always. But all he's done is send them a letter. He says putting more pressure on the monastery could provoke them. Those are his words. So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. But I expect the Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. I could help with this. Do you think this is a job for you? You aren't even in my service. I do serve Sir Radzig. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me. And I've never let him down. This is true. So do you want to go to Sassau and ask about the stone? Yes, I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to remind them of it. Take care. Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribislavitz. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribislavitz, my locator, Marius. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribislavitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed, but I'd be happier if you checked it out. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. I've been sent by Captain Bernard. He says you have Cuma marauders here. Ah, so it was you Bernard was speaking of. Well, the Cumans are marauding, that's for sure. So Divish did declare a decent reward for taking the bastards down. But we've not had cause to pay out to anyone so far. Is that because the locals are too frightened? No, they're more than willing to try. It's just they don't seem to make it back again. But don't let me put you off. We do know of one camp. Along the road to Neuhof, hidden between the cliffs. I'll pay you your reward if you can bring me proof you've killed the camp leader. They wear peculiar helmets with a face mask of sorts. Easy to recognize. All right. I'll see to it. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Maybe another time. God be with you.
Hey, what the fuck? So, it's all clear to me now. What is? Who are you? You've no business here. I'm Henry, and I was expecting to find you here. What? Uh, how could you? Sir Divish's locator went missing around these parts. Well, it seems like he's all out of luck, don't it? Divish also sends someone better than you to Parley. He didn't send me to Parley. He sent me to deal with it. Deal with it? There's plenty of us, and you're on your own. So I'd think twice about how you're gonna deal with that. Let him go, right now. Or you can stay here and feed the crows, like the rabble who were here before you. All right, all right. Well, no I need never... to be hasty, eh? Well, we'll be on our way then. Quietly. That fella's in the tent over there. Mother of God. Please, help me. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this.
Please, help me. Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalith. 
My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived, and so far all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me, if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. I'll escort you, then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, j I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? This is a good spot for the rat house. Every village must have one. It'll be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. It can have its own little square, close to the church. There's no better site here. The church is still standing. Good. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Timber alone won't do, though. Hmm. We could fit at least one tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's? Huh? There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. Hmm. The main approach road and the stream. This bridge needs reinforcing. 
It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Supplies and trade will flow through here. I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters, and we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. Lots of space here. There's a well here already. All the better. Big space, clean water, close to the village green. A good site for an inn. That's that then. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? Why wait? I'll head to Townberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. 
<sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. Well, to begin with, they wouldn't hear a word about letting Master Marius go. Of course, the clink of silver is the only language the likes of them understand. They're a perfidious rabble. True, sir, and greedy with it. They wanted a fat ransom, and, uh, <clears throat> well, I paid it from my own purse. I appreciate you doing everything you can to ensure the safety of my subjects. I don't know how much you had to pay. Ahem. Uh Ahem. <clears throat> sir? Henry shouldn't lose out for doing the best he could under the circumstances. Here, this ought to cover the cost. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid! Finally, some good news for this province. Well, and badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church... I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. There's a stream here, and a well right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But, for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost the king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a... Certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point. But I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price. But raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. A village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for a building will need lots of labour. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound sceptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, 
I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalit's neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here, but now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalit's neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of bailiff of the hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. And if you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single groschen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... I mean... Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honour. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rite bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. Yeah!
Yeah. My good man, how about a little wager? How about a small wager, my good man? That depends. A wager over what? It's simple. I tell you a riddle. If you solve it, you get back twice the sum you wager. If you don't, I get to keep your coin. That sounds good. Let's do it. Now, listen carefully. In the feast hall on the table are ten candles. Suddenly, a gust of wind throws open the window and blows out two candles. A little later, another candle goes out. The servant, therefore, closes the hall window. Now the wind cannot blow out any more. So how many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning in the hall? Three is the correct answer. While the wind blows out three, seven burn down completely overnight, so the next day only those three can be rekindled. Well, what can I do? Here's your ten groschen. Spend them as best you can. Maybe we'll meet up again sometime. We may well do so. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, lad! Don't you want a little wager on the rack? Yeah. Yeah.
I have a document for you from Sir Divis. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. The village you drove those bandits out of? The very same. So it's true, then. Good. Good. Let me see that document, then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. Farewell. Good day, Henry. Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced, in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Skalitz friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way anytime soon.
Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um... I'll, uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already sought a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they'd erected some temporary dwellings, that is. So we're ready to get things started? As long as you know what you want to build, I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless, I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always be kept at the Rat House. Well, there's nothing here, so we'll have to build everything. Ale house, bakery, butchers, rat house. Did I mention ale house? Eventually. But be warned. To begin with, it's always best to start with facilities that will be producing construction materials for everything else. And since we'll mainly be using timber, it makes sense to set up a woodcutter's camp. All right. And then what? That depends. Every building has its use. You'll soon get the grasp of it. And it's all in the ledger. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for artisans? The money must be put in the trunk here. The expenditures for wages and materials will be taken from it. So you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds me. There's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir so Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. I can't afford that much. At least not now, right at the star. But I do need your help. How about this much? That won't do. An expert in his field should be suitably rewarded. All right. This amount ought to correspond to your work. It seems we understand each other. I agree. Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk, too. Are you sure it's... Qu Quite. Ah. If you...